Slap a pair of eyes and a mouth onto anything and you've got a viable character for this puzzle game. In 2009, Square Enix brought us the seizure-inducing puzzle title, Yosemin Live. It's cutesy, bright, and at times overwhelming, but how can you say no to that mustachioed shuffle piece? Yosemin is potentially the cutest thing to ever come out of Japan, so get ready for some saccharinely sweet voice acting and music. I tell you about the story, but there really isn't one in the Xbox Live Arcade version. <laughs> Gameplay is exactly like Yosemin's color-matching predecessors with a few twists. The idea is you clear mins from the screen by bounding them together with a light-colored piece at each corner of a box. Clearing the same color four times in a row gives you a special, which replaces that color with another, offering more options for clearing. There are various objectives like clearing a certain amount of each colored Yosemin, making a certain number of small standard or supersets, and sometimes you have to make a Yosemin, which means clearing the whole board in one fell swoop. I know, I don't really get it either. I feel a little guilty saying this, but I love this game. I like repetition in my puzzle games with steadily increasing difficulty, and that's what Yosemin brings to the table. The upbeat tone of music and narrative can get grating at times, but in general, the game is well made. Endless mode continually throws new objectives at you to complete each level, and two-player mode is a pretty sweet fight to see who can make matches quicker. As you try to beat each level in Endless, a time gauge displayed on the right will start emptying. If you wait too long to make a match, time will run out and obviously it's game over. Yosemin does a good job of slowly ramping up difficulty by starting off with three types of Yosemin and gradually adding more and more in higher levels. The longer you play this game, the better you will get at color recognition, so don't worry if you initially have problems making a match. If you haven't made a set after a certain amount of time, a viable corner will move a little and make a little noise, like that Yosemin has had a little too much caffeine or is so angered by your lack of skills it can't stop from shaking. As the time gauge runs low, the music changes to this panic-inducing fast track that, in my opinion, makes it more difficult to create sets. I was a little disappointed to find that the Xbox Live Arcade version of Yosemin was lacking the quote-unquote story mode I enjoyed in the PC version. Endless and battle mode are equally fun, don't get me wrong, but it felt nice to stop and walk away from progress and not have to start from the beginning all over again. Another issue was the lack of precision. I felt like I had better control and was able to play much faster when I was using a mouse. The overall difficulty feels like it has been dropped significantly, maybe to combat the switch to analog sticks, but that doesn't make me feel any better about the game being slower. Battle mode with the computer just felt slow and boring, but I'm used to more fast-paced puzzle-solving games and more high-intensity situations. I do think this mode is perfect for inexperienced gamers who are looking to build coordination with the analog sticks. The art of Yosemin is basic, but it's done well, so I can't complain. The user interface is clean and easily readable, and it allows you to jump right in and play. It's bright and stimulating, and the ultra-cute characters are simple and not distracting. Overall, it's a good puzzle game if the 360 is your chosen platform, but I do recommend getting Yosemin on the PC instead of on the Xbox Live Arcade. It's no Final Fantasy, but it is ultra-kawaii.